Hello and welcome to the Skyfall channel. Today this is my $700 gaming PC. So if you're looking into a mid-end gaming PC that pretty much you want to run all of your favorite games at 1080p ultra settings and all of your favorite PC titles such as Battlefield 4, Minecraft, DayZ, or even the upcoming Grand Theft Auto 5, if you want to run all those games at ultra settings 1080p, then this is the perfect gaming PC for you for $700. And plus, this gaming PC will be featuring the brand new GTX 960. So for the processor, I went with the Intel Core i5-4690. This is a quad-core processor by Intel and is pretty much praised as one of the best gaming processors for its price. For $200, you're getting a really solid gaming CPU that is overclockable all the way up to 4.5 GHz and achieves very good FPS rates on a lot of games. Now for the motherboard, I went with the ASRock Extreme 3 Z97 motherboard. Now this is a great motherboard for its price of $105. This motherboard can overclock the 4690K to around 4.5 GHz and even above if you want to take it above that. Not to mention this motherboard can hold up to 32 GB of RAM, it has plenty of USB 3.0 SATA 6 gigabit ports. This also is just a very well made motherboard as it is a motherboard by ASRock. I mean, for its price, you can't get anything better. Now for the RAM, I went with the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB RAM set. So of course, for $59, you pretty much can't go wrong with this RAM set. For PC gaming, you really don't need anything about 8GB of RAM right now. So really for $59, this is a great RAM set for its price. Now for the hard drive, I went with the Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive. There's pretty much no surprise as to why I chose this hard drive. I mean, one, it's one terabytes, it's $47, it operates at 7200 RPM, and has a 64 megabyte cache so really there's no bad in getting this hard drive at all it'll be really good for storing all of your games on it and loading up all of your games at around like 10 to 17 seconds depending on the game and also loading up the os on this hard drive is quite quick too now for the graphics card, I went with the brand new GeForce GTX 960 by EVGA. Now this is the super clocked edition and all this is for $200. So this is a GTX 960 that has 2GB of VRAM that is completely overclockable all for $200 which isn't really that bad. At full load with this graphics card, this graphics card will not dissipate a lot of heat thanks to its low voltage. In addition to that, with its low voltage, it can be overclocked a whole lot. So as you can already see, for $200, this is one of the best valued graphics cards on the market right now. And for this to fit into a $700 gaming PC, it is a really good addition to it. Now for the case and a brand new addition to my best valued PC gaming cases, for $34 this is the Bitfenix Neos ATX Mid Tower. So this is a pretty outstanding case for $34, as for $34 you're getting a case with very good construction, a lot of hard drive bays and a lot of hard drive cages, really good cable threading, really good airflow as a matter of fact, and overall just a really great case for $34. So for the power supply I went with the Corsair CX500. Now there's pretty much no surprise as to why I chose this, I've chosen this power supply many other times in my past previous valued gaming PC builds, so really this is a really good power supply to get for its price. So for $35 you're getting a power supply with 500 watts, it's 80 plus bronze, therefore saving you money in your power bill because it'll run quite efficiently, and lastly it's a Corsair CX power supply, and I mean those are really well rated online for their price, so this is a great power supply to go with. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, favorite, subscribe, and all good stuff, and this is the Skyfall channel signing out.